At 6.30, we'll call the meeting of the select board um, to order. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any no, any additions to the yeah. agenda? You're my hero. The chair has no remarks. Uh, public comment on non-agenda related items. Seeing none, we'll move on. Um, the rec director is going to be here around seven. Thank you. He has another meeting. Thank you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, minutes. Okay. December 20th. Okay, I think we can do this one. Yep. Um, I move that we accept the minutes of the regular select board meeting on December 20th, 2022, as written. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Mr. Root? Aye. Ms. Carr? Aye. And the chair is <clears throat> aye. We have the uh, minutes of January 3rd. Um, we cannot do those. No. Could we put those on to the next meeting, please? Yeah, and we cannot do these. Could we put the January 17th off till the next meeting also? Uh, the reason for people out in the audience that we are deferring those is that we're there's not a quorum of members here who were at those other two meetings entirely, so we don't have a we don't have a majority that could uh, pass the, the minutes and we'll move on to the next to the next meeting. Uh, warrants. I move that we approve payment of the following warrant: 14T accounts payable. $157,545.81, 3S payroll, $9,130.91, 4S payroll, $9,959.51, and 5S payroll, $9,130.19. And second, any discussion? Uh, all those in favor, Mr. Root? Aye. Ms. Kerr? Aye. And the chair is aye. Town Administrator, good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, the annual report has been sent to the printer and will be delivered to the town offices uh, February 21st, or shortly thereafter. Um, the report's been uploaded to the town website, so it's available for anyone who wants to read it now. The town meeting mailing was uh, sent out Friday morning and it's been received. Um, received Saturday morning. Um, I have two scheduled outdoor recreation master plan committee meetings um, coming up next week, one on Monday uh, for the committee, and the second one on Thursday will be a public meeting to get feedback um, from the community on the project. Flyers are being posted in and around town and on the website. Um, there's going to be a planning commission meeting today. I wasn't sure if you folks were aware that they're going to be discussing zoning, so I don't know if that's okay. tomorrow night. Oh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow, tomorrow, did I say tonight? Tomorrow yeah. night. Wednesday night at 6 30, I do believe. If you're interested, I can get you the agenda. I will be attending. Um, I've scheduled a personnel policy update committee meeting um, for this Wednesday coming up as well uh, to get that project started and underway. I received an email regarding the opioid settlements and there are five additional settlements, Teva, Allergen, CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart. 
Um, Vermont's participating in all five of these settlements. Um, shall I move forward in the flying on Vernon's behalf? Do we have an estimated amount? I handed out. Um, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yep, no worries. But that's for one. That's the whole settlement. Correct. That's okay. nationwide. Nationwide. So it's going to be a trickle down just the last one. Yeah, I, I think there's no reason we shouldn't move forward. And the use of this, as the board had voted, okay. was to help people that may have an issue uh, locally that may need some help. And if their insurance doesn't cover everything, we can help out with that. A lot of insurances cover treatment, but not lodging type things. So it will give us some time to, to perhaps help someone who might need it later on. Good. Okay, and that's all I have. New business. The fire department ARPA request. The select board receives this, uh, documents in the mail, email. Excuse email. Me. Okay. Um, and I would turn it over to the fire department. <clears throat> okay. I'm Lieutenant Tim Alexander with the fire department. This is Captain Travis Franklin. Um, as you all hopefully read, got time to read the letter. Um, just kind of some recommendations and requests for ways to utilize the ARPA funding. I'm happy to read through the letter. Um, for those of you that haven't read through it, or I can answer any questions you may have, however you want to proceed with it. <clears throat> I can briefly touch on each section that we were talking about. So have you been just using, like, it did say like a regular wash machine for gear? Yeah, I mean, that's currently in the station. That's all we have. It's a residential washing machine that's down in the basement. Um, honestly, it does no good for us yeah, at all. I imagine. No. Um, right. After, you know, we don't have tons of fires, but when we have, we'll put our gear through the wash. We have special gear wash, but it comes out just as dirty and just as smelly as it was when it went in. And then after you wash it, you can't just put it in a dryer. It needs either a special dryer, an FBA approved dryer, right. or... Uh, we set up two step ladders and a large pipe pole and hang it on there with a box fan. Yeah, it's, it's almost like, a, like, like Gore-Tex, you really can't put it right. in a dryer. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it's a, damaging to the yeah. fibers. It's like a 24-hour process to wash and dry gear, yeah. and it takes that person out of service because we don't have supplemental right. gear. So, so this may be a stupid question, but I'm going to ask it anyways. Um, seven grand's a lot of money. Absolutely. Uh, and, and it's needed. I'm not, mm -hmm. it's not, it's not a negative comment. But would it make some sense, I don't know, with, for some of the smaller departments that have calls, I'm not the, the, diminishing the call, to, to pool together and, and you know, have like a, a mini regional, be it here or in Guilford or... Right. I, I, I don't know. know. What that is, a lot of departments are municipal, other ones are owned by themselves. None of, not all of them are the same around here. Right, but they, that doesn't mean they can't share it in, in something. Yeah, but one's municipal money, other one's the department's money. Still doesn't matter. I mean, as a municipal, I wouldn't want some grant going into a partnership with a random company. I would go to another municipality, maybe. So if the Guilford Fire Department was a strictly not-for-profit... They are strictly their own department. Okay. They're not part of the town. Right, and you wouldn't... I'm just saying, I mean, it does, it's kind of weird well, I get it it makes sense but another thing to take in mind of that is like you know we can go to a structure fire at two o'clock in the morning I get I get it come, the, yeah there's lots of reasons you can get the process going right away lots of reasons not to do Absolutely. what I just thought but of. Yeah. everything in the fire service is ridiculously is overpriced no. and everything we look at it's like it's yeah. unbelievable so if there is an actual fire locally, all the local departments are going to be at it. Right. There's going to be a line at all of the ones. Yeah, that's, that's fine. And the yeah. washes, I think, was yeah, it three cents a gear at a time. Yeah. So it you can't really sense. pack it full. So okay. Th thank you. Well, better than one step. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can only dry on two. You can only dry uh, two on a rack, right? Yeah, that one will yeah. dry two in a dryer, but rapidly. Yeah. Okay. So like right now, you know, our gear, there's a, there's a liner, then there's like the outer shelf. So when we wash it, we got to take 
wash both parts separately. Yeah. So, you know, an hour or so just to wash and then 24 hours to dry. And yeah. So it is definitely a process. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And that won't matter if it's <laughs> no. yeah. Mac based or well, you can do the windows. Yeah. Right, you can do it. I didn't know if we bought a specific type. I think everything's gotcha. in a subscription. Yeah. With license. I didn't know if our license was strictly for Yeah, because I, I, I work, we have everything. Okay. So as far as the computers go, um, we asked for four of them on here. We currently have four computers in the station, all in these same locations that we listed, but they're, they're pretty much obsolete, I think. Two of them we don't even bother to try to use because, you know, it's a 30 minute process to boot them up. The other two crash and burn all the time. Um, so there's definitely, everything's going electronic now. Meetings, you know, we've done several Zoom meetings, <clears throat> training activities, just everything we do seems to be online based. So. Members are currently bringing in their own personal computers to use for training no, videos and Could you fundraise for the uh, TV? Um, possibly. The fundraising is kind of a... I know. It's uh, usually the fundraising we do is through the, the DFAI side of it versus yeah. the town side, so it's kind of that gray area there. Okay. It, it would seem that would it would show, you know, a, a little bit of you're fifty-seven thousand. You're raising three thousand. It's a pretty good, pretty good bargain, I think. Right. <clears throat> no, I mean, it's like these are ideas we had. We're not dead set on every single item yeah. on there. But as we look around the department and use it, you know, on the weekly basis, we've come to find that this isn't great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And they all kind of work together. You know, the computers, the TV. Right. It's all one big piece. It'd be great if it all, all came to, but we understand that that's not necessarily realistic. Would a whiteboard, an electronic whiteboard, be something you could use? Have you thought about smart boards, but they were like a lot more. A lot yeah, more they're expensive. But. Rescue Link, the, the new place, they have those smart boards, and they're yeah. like $9,000. Yeah, I know. Um, they're cool. <laughs> But a smart TV, we think, would satisfy. Okay. And that's Thanks. much cheaper than a new projector yeah. as well. So. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> to touch on the gear side of it that we listed over, um, there's a list of names there. There might be one or two others that we're still waiting to hear about as far as if their gear fits. Most of these people weren't actually fitted for the gear they have. There were things in the basement that fit pretty well, or they're expiring. Um, there's two of them on here that are nearing that 10 year mark, and some of them just don't have any gear at all. Yeah. We recently bought gear, that's where that $2,800 mark was yep. for three of our interior members. Um, but we're waiting to get an exact price as to what it is now, because things change on the daily nowadays. <coughs> okay. And the gear does have a 10 year shelf life. Any other discussion? Mr. Chairman? Um, I just wanted to speak on behalf of the advisory committee. Uh, we had a meeting with the officers last week, and we had the opportunity to review it and went through this whole list. Uh, and the advisory committee is 100% on board with what needs to be done here. One of probably the biggest advantages is that <clears throat> that's a cost we're going to have as taxpayers. Mm -hmm. 
um, and this is an opportunity for us to uh, bring us up a notch. As you know, the fire department, we need that right. extra little kick, bring us up a notch and the money won't be kicked over to the taxpayer. So the question that I have, we're buying 10, roughly, it may be 9, it may be 11, I, I, depending on, what I'm concerned about is staggering the repurchase so 10 years, ten years down the road yeah. we're not coming in to buy 15 new ones because the, the, the 10 are expired. Yeah. So maybe if you can start like year 6 or 7 and, and you know do 3 a year or 4 a year or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it, it's it's just something to think about. So the yeah. town's not hit ten years down the road with what will be probably seven thousand dollars at least by then. Right. Yeah. And we did talk about that along with uh, air packs. Yeah. Uh, those are another thing that need to be yeah. staggered uh, versus a you know a hundred thousand dollar purchase of yeah. twenty packs. So. Yeah, unless there's a safer grant around to do right. that for you, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It sounds much. like it okay. should be sure to get put into the capital plan. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you're saving all the time. Right. It's not a big hit one year. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's how you. Okay. Um, is there a motion? There was, but then you said change the fire gear, so I don't know how to say it now. Change the fire gear. Well, he said not to buy it all at once. No, 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 no. Oh, that's in the future. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's ten years out. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that you know I don't see that really as a problem if you, if you space it out in the capital yeah, right. plan. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Now you have time. If you buy it all now, we have time in the capital plan. A lot of departments do a couple of sets a year. Yeah. I think that might be one more. Well, you've got to keep track of that. I don't know how much fun that'll be. We're about 20 or so members currently. Okay. You know, not all interior guys. A lot of the interior are all up to date with all their gear. Um, but we have people on the EMS side that are interested in kind of becoming into the exterior firefighter operations where they could use some gear too. Yeah. So. Okay. No, the, the, that would be right for now. But the, we don't think the TV idea is a good idea. I move that we approve $60,525 to purchase the Vernon Volunteer Fire Department needs for funding requests with ARPA money. Second, but I have For discussion, discussion. Go ahead. So you were taking out the um, Microsoft licenses? Yes. The town already has it. So because Shelly recommended keeping it in. I just Oh. I would just leave it in. I'm not sure if that's a subscription okay. that may be recurring. Keep it in further. Yeah. I got more. <laughs> there might, I don't mean to speak on anything, but no, there no. might be other things, uh, you know, other administrative softwares or something like that that might come up as we set things up. All the emails are subscription. Right. Sir? So I would get with Bill Dermoth and see okay. how many licenses we have that's because we we're, mm -hmm. that would be ideal. So I'm, like you said, I'm pretty sure we have enough for the whole town. Well, if it's in there, you don't have to spend it if you don't need it, right? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so do we have to do a friendly amendment to... I accept it as amended. You second it. 625. And the motion is made and seconded is adjusted. Um, all those in favor, Mr. Root? Aye. Ms. Carr? Aye. The chair says aye. And you shall get that for you. So you Thank have you to very much. Yeah. Appreciate you. Have a no, cheap workout, Mr. Okay. Put a lot of time in yeah. and uh, appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you all very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. See you all. Yeah, we're going to go to our next meeting. Back to the station. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. I just put my agenda somewhere. There it is. Okay. Roads and Bridges Standard Reporting. Um, we have, I think you've had it in your packet as well, the certification of compliance for town road and bridge standards and network inventory. This is to certify that we have an up-to-date highway network inventory which identifies location, size, deficiencies, condition of the roads, bridges, causeways, culverts, and highway-related retaining walls 
on all class one, two, and three town highways an estimated cost of repairs. Uh, is there a motion to sign? So moved. Second. Any discussion or questions? All those in favor, Mr. Root? Aye. Ms. Carr? Aye. Chairs, aye. And I will send this down for signature. Three is the seventh, right? Guilford Country Store and pay as you throw bags. I move that we approve the Guilford store to sell pay as you throw bags to the town clerk. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, Ms. all those in favor, Mr. Got Reed. one. We oh, still be able sorry. to buy them at the town clerk, or yeah. yep. okay. We it's just, we're expanding, expanding our. We're area. just putting it back. They, we have. Oh, okay. So cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you for that. Um, Aye. Ms. Carr. Aye. Aye. Okay. And Shelley will notify them. The yes. Guilford store. Yeah, they, they're going to be working with Cindy on that. Okay. Comp time policy amendment. As we discussed in the last meeting when the board approved this, um, there had been a Scrivener error, and I'm the Scrivener, so I will take the heat on the error, wherein in paragraph 5.8.1 on page 2, um, the phrase in the first sentence, upon termination for any reason, or at the conclusion of any given fiscal year, which is the whole meat and potatoes of what we're trying to do here, uh, was inadvertently omitted in something when I sent it back up here. Um, and that needs to be added. Council has reviewed the document. This doesn't change the intent or the content of the document it was it was this is covered in section 3.5 i believe but it's not as clear um and there it could be subject to Oh, in, in three, uh, I'm sorry, three in the, under comp compensatory uh, bank lead, but it wasn't, I understood it, but it wouldn't be universally understood if somebody just came to write it. So we just had, we put the sentence back in that was omitted. And we need a vote to accept it. So a motion to approve the comp time policy as amended. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? Seeing the Mr. Root. Aye. Ms. Carr? Aye. And chairs, aye. I'm this. I'm this. That concludes the business of the regular meeting. Um, there has been a executive session request with the listers, and I don't see my card, my cheat card. There it is. <coughs> hmm, one or five. Um, I would, don't want the information to the public. Yeah, or it's security, negotiating, securing, no, we're not leasing. Yeah, it would be five. Uh, is there a motion to go into executive session with the listers and the town administrator under the discussion or consideration of records or documents accept, accepted from the public record laws at this point? Is there a second? Second. Second. 
All those in favor, Mr. Aye. Root, Ms. Carr. Aye. And the chair says aye. And I'll send this down for signature. So we will reconvene at the end of the executive session uh, for no other reason to uh, comment on any action taken or just to adjourn the regular meeting. I will call the meeting back into regular session. The board took no actions. Uh, there are no actions to take after the executive session. And we will move on to our Recreation Department quarterly report. Hey, guys. Hello. All right. Thanks for having me. Um, I'll just kind of go down through where we're at and kind of what we, you know, looks like for the next, well, for the spring, I guess. Uh, right now we're in the middle of basketball season, which is our first normal season, if you want to call it that, since 2020. Um, going really well. We've got a great group of volunteer coaches that are very committed, doing an awesome job for us. So we're, we're really fortunate there. Uh, we'll be running our 20th annual Vernon Invitational Basketball Tournaments uh, coming up uh, over, over uh, I guess, the weekend of, well, February 9th, 15th through 19th will be the, the boys uh, tournament and the girls will be held February 25th. We've got towns, uh, teams from eight different towns locally oh, coming. So, wow. um, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Yeah. Um, you know, as far as other programs, we've These got. These at night? Oh, uh, yeah, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, all day Saturday, all day Sunday for the, uh -huh. for the boys' tournament. Uh, there's not as many girls' teams in the league this year, so that'll be a one day event on Saturday, the 25th. Um, but this is our first time back in the league play in general since 2020. So, um, you know, it's it's cool. it's good that we're even where we're at right now. Yeah. So that's cool. Good for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, program wise, we know we've got a fitness class that meets Monday and Wednesday evenings. We're running open gym. We have been running that on Saturdays throughout you know throughout the winter. This is well attended. Uh, we've got pickup volleyball, pickup basketball. Little, um, you know, volleyball's Monday nights. Basketball's Wednesday nights. Uh, this is the first time we've been able to get back into doing that in a couple of years, so that's been good to see. Um, preschool's going really well. Um, you know, already uh, registering for next year and virtually full for next year already. So, mm. um, you, you know, things are going really well there. Um, the the recreation master plan that we we've, we've been working on. Um, I'm sure Shelley's been updating you guys, but I will also just throw, you know, um, you know, there's continued work uh, there with the February 13th and 16th are the next uh, meetings uh, for that with some community outreach stuff, you know, starting to gather some public input there. So that'll be interesting to see, you know, what the public has to, to say in that regard. Um, we have uh, had applied for a facilities grant to purchase some uh, ADA compliant stairs for the pool just to uh, increase um, you know usage for the pool. We have we have an entrance we have an entrance now, but um, it, it's not preferred by some. And we had an opportunity to apply for a, a grant through the state, and and we received we received that. So um, the the stairs actually arrived this week. So they're the high, thanks to the highway department for helping us unload those and, and store those until we need to get them over. The pool. So do you take the old set out? We're gonna leave the orange. Uh, set there, and that's that's more for our folks that are, are uh, wheelchair bound. But the um, the stairs that we have, the, the the orange stairs will just slide over the you know width of the the, the stairs that we just purchased. Mm -hmm. The stairs that we just purchased will go right where the orange okay. stairs are. So they'll both be right there. Yeah. Um, but they're a step down stair in with you know railings on each side, and I think it's um, you know it's the, the the height of the riser is, is the right. is the important part yeah. there. Um, and so yeah, those that that cool. Yep, those are already up in town here, so we'll get those installed in the spring. Um, from a revenue standpoint, uh, last year was our highest generating year revenue wise, and right now we're tracking at about twenty percent greater than that. Um, so we're in a good spot there. Um, you know, obviously, you know everybody contributes. You know, from a tax base standpoint to the department, but those that really use the programs contribute a little bit more. So that's, I think, the way it should be. Um, and, and right now, you know, programs have been really busy and, and, and you know, utilized, so uh, revenue is tracking, tracking really well. Uh, town meeting, we got word that it's going to be, I think, the sixth, the standard time that it was going to be. We're going to provide child care there in the cafeteria this year. I'm still working on exactly what that will look like to be in the cafeteria, uh, but we're going to make that happen. We'll start recruiting some volunteers. Actually, we started talked about it at our, my board meeting a few minutes ago, and uh, we'll start to recruit some volunteers to help out with that. 
Um, once the spring rolls around, we'll start on our ball field cleanup, pool area, town forest, all that stuff, and start to prepare for you know, the spring and the summer. So that's kind of where we're at. Thoughts, concerns, questions? Has the rec department thought about the capital cost for renovating the bathhouse? So the bathhouse well, you know or, the, or the shelter area. So the bathhouse itself is in, the nuts and bolts of it are, are, are pretty solid. Um, the master plan grant, or not grant, excuse me, the master plan, some of the things that we've highlighted have, have come around, uh, like the shelter area. Um, the rec board has talked a little bit about some like the you units, know, uh, a little bit inside the bathhouse area. There's some like door frames and things that could, could stand to be, you know, renovated there. But the the um, you know the nuts and bolts of the bathhouse is, is fairly solid. Okay. There's a new roof on it. Yeah. Um, you know, given the nature that you you know, from a plumbing standpoint, that things are taken apart, put back together, and winterized every year. Yeah. You know, things work better if they're just used all the time. I think. Yeah. Um, there's always quirks that we run into. Um, it's really the shelter area. I think that we will start to look at as to where we can improve upon the bathrooms down there. Yeah. Um, some more um, ADA compliance stuff down there. Uh, just kind of how we you know move water away from the area. Yeah. How to get from the parking lot up to the shelter, you know, in a little bit more efficient way. Um, so th those are areas that we're looking at um, and hopeful too that through the. Um, Link on the funds that the town's receiving and what that the ARPA funds. For, the ARPA funds, thank you. That that there will, you know, maybe some some of those funds might be available, possibly for use of the shelter area. Um, you know, don't have a set plan as to exactly what that's going to look like okay. yet. Um, we had talked about um, potentially adding some type of way to not permanently enclose the outside of the shelter, but offer more of a three seasons approach. Uh, for the day camp is, is our day camp program has been really busy in recent years um, and then also just in terms of public use if the weather's not fantastic or might be able to use it a little bit later into the fall yeah. maybe a little bit earlier in the spring um, people like to you know have, have meetings and things outdoors so um, yeah. we've actually been having more requests for use of the shelter in those spring and fall times than we have in previous years so um, discussion okay. yeah. thank you sure Board members? Okay, thank you. Excellent. All well, set. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Oh, I, I know it's sugaring time, even though it's early. If you're running low, yep. there's all the trees up on Lolo's pasture, please feel free. And then there's one in the back of my field that's pretty big. It's huge. Okay, okay. Right. Thanks. You have to we, haul it from there. We just tapped the ones up behind your house on Ritz the other day, so yeah, yeah they all run down to that one barrel. Right, right, but, right. But thank you. Yeah, if my you, wife would have me drill a hole in every maple tree in Vernon if I could, but I like to sleep, so yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, it's just that you're right there if you need them. Yeah, they haven't been used in years. Okay, haven't been tapped. So thank you. Okay. Cool. All right, guys, have a good night. Have a great night. Is there any other business for the good of the order? Excellent. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. That is a non-debatable motion. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. And we will meet again on the 21st. What time was the planning commission meeting?